it's Marissa, the Umbrian Sewist. Thank you for joining me to um, those who have been here before or subscribers. And for anyone new, thank you for checking out my channel. I hope you like the content. I post about sewing, mainly garment sewing, but I like to sew other things as well. And most of the sewing I do is for myself, my son, and very occasionally my husband. Now, I missed a Friday Sews last week because um, solo parenting a six-year-old, but today is his birthday and he's now seven, so I will have to start getting used to saying seven-year-old, is not easy. Um, my husband got back on Sunday of last week and then this week's been pretty busy with trying to um, catch up on work, which I wasn't able to do much of the week my husband was gone and uh, prepare for birthday celebrations. So today is my son's seventh birthday and tomorrow we're hosting a birthday party, um, which is my first, the first birthday party I've arranged for him. And also it is basically all of the guests are Italian and they do birthdays really well here. And um, so it's a little scary, um, but because it's still summer holidays here, we don't, kids don't go back to school till the 14th of September. A lot of people are on vacation, so it'll be rather a small event. However, um, we definitely wanna make it a successful birthday party, but I must admit, I will be very glad when it is over, just because I'm stressed, not because of any other reason. Anyway, you are here for sewing content. Now, I have been, um, after I finished that shirt for my son, I finished up a pair of shorts, which I am wearing, which are the Easy Shorts um, by Wardrobe by Me. I think I showed these cut out in a previous video, um, but it was just some leftover sort of cheap cotton that I had. And I finished those and they have been very valuable and useful. And then I realized I had quite a few things in my work in progress drawer. And so I thought I would get started on those. The first item is a made by me pattern, which is this bomber jacket, which is for my son. Comes in a size one to 10, one month, excuse me, one month to 10 years. This is the size eight to nine, so there's one size left. I had had it cut out for quite a while and was a bit stressed that due to having it cut out for a while, and obviously children grow, that it wouldn't fit. But it is awesome. So let me show you what it is made out of. So I purchased this teddy bear fleece, this gray teddy fleece from Self Made, which used to be called Stop and Still and um, had always envisaged some sort of jacket. And, uh, and then I used black cuffing and um, I used quite a cool cotton for the um, facing here and for the pockets, the same. And I am thrilled with it. It's um, it's a lovely, it was very easy to work with actually. It's a completely, it's a woven. So it was easy to sew with. Um, uh, it's not the soft on the inside. So it's definitely a long sleeve shirt underneath kind of um, item. But the directions were fantastic. It was super easy and very satisfying to make. Obviously, as you can tell by what I'm wearing, it is completely and utterly inappropriate for this current time. However, um, it will be the perfect sort of transition jackety sweater thing uh, for the fall and um, quite nice uh, because it will probably be quite warm. And uh, yeah, I'm really pleased with it. So that is that one. I can't get my son to try it on. I got him try it on once, but he gets stressed, you know, when it's like not the season for a particular item of clothing. He doesn't want to wear it. He gets very stressed wearing it, but I'm extremely pleased with it. It's um, a lovely jacket and the pattern was absolutely fantastic. So that is the first item. Then clearly at the time I was cutting out projects, I was into bomber jackets because this was also in my work in progress drawer. 
This is the McCall's M7100. It's a bomber jacket. Okay, you can see here there's a bunch of different options for various like color blocking. You have a couple pocket options. Now, I cut this out in a knit, so stretchy teddy bear fabric that I got in one of my fabric surprise boxes. I did not have enough, so I had to sort of color block it. So um, the knit is the body. I went for the kangaroo pockets, okay? I went for, now I only comment, and then I had a little bit of this, which is a creamy white um, teddy bear. Again, a knit, very stretchy. And then this is like a scuba. Now, my only issue is, I don't know if you can tell, this is more like a cream. This is white, which for some reason I didn't quite notice. Um, honestly, this stretchy teddy bear was a nightmare to sew with. Okay, I'm gonna pan you down so you can see this. Again, not appropriate to be wearing. Now, yeah, it was a nightmare. The stretchy teddy bear. But, you know, it looks okay. The arms are like, seem very large compared to the body. But, I'm pleased with it. Um, all of this fabric was in this fabric surprise box. So in a sense, it was extremely economical to make. Now I am, I have a really large shopping basket at one of my favorite Dutch fabric stores. And I'm just like ready to press send or order, but it's, I'm scared because I have so much in there. And I now don't have any place for some fabric. So you can see. That fabric does not have a home, which is, you know, embarrassing. So why would I be buying more fabric? Don't know, can't answer that. But um, yeah, I'm pleased with it. It's, I like this color. It's like a mauve rose -y color. And uh, yeah, but I do really like the jacket. So I think I will probably purchase something specific for this. Like I said, I have something in my basket, which I would like to make. Um, but yes, I really liked it. Oh, and the other thing I would like to mention is there is rather a cool panel here. So can you see, you've got this panel here. Wait, let me try to hold it up a bit better. So again, lots of opportunity for color blocking. And I also really like McCall's patterns. They have these pleats in the shoulder, which I actually think are really cool. I've made a couple of like shirts and sweaters and things from um, McCall's and they do that quite frequently. And I do, I do really like that. So I would really highly recommend this pattern. It was very good directions, easy to make. It was only made difficult because of what I chose. Um, this particular pattern goes from an extra small to an XXL. Uh, where are the, oh, I'm looking at them. Extra small is a bust of 29 and a half going to an XXL, which is a bust of 46 to 48. Waist of 22, XXL 41 and a half hip extra small 31 and a half and XXL 50. So it's not the biggest size range. However, I do believe they possibly, sometimes they have, oh no, I lie. So I got, this pattern includes large, extra large and XXL. I made the extra large, I'm pretty sure. And like I said, aside from the arms being slightly large, um, it fits very nicely. And clearly, if you're wearing a long sleeve shirt under it, maybe that's why it seems large, but if you wore a long sleeve shirt under it, maybe it'll fit nice. So that was that. So those are the two things that I finished. Um, what do I plan to do this week? We have booked a last minute vacation and we're leaving next week on Wednesday, which is the 31st, and we'll be gone for a week. So I just have a few days. Um, like I said, they don't start school here, here till the 14th. And um, unlike British or American schools, there are no vacations the entire year, aside from four days at Easter. 
and two weeks at Christmas and that is it. There is no winter break, there's no spring break, there is nothing. Just some random public holidays like one day here, one day there. No more than any other country. And so when you're entering September and you're like not going to get a vacation until um, Christmas and then we don't go away at Christmas. We were looking for something last minute. And also my husband's a contractor. So when he's working, he doesn't really want to take time off because he doesn't get paid. And he hasn't started a new project yet. So um, anyway, why am I making excuses? Don't know. So we are going to Greece, which should be really fun. Um, but I don't have, you know, I'll just have a few days, um, the next few days before we go away. So a few things, and these are all from my in progress or cut out box. I should say cut out because actually most of them are just cut out. So what I am going to finish off is the um, leggings. I'm not sure if you'll recall, I bought from the lovely Polish company Drosowski or something, which I'll put the details below. Um, if you were, if you watch any of my videos before, which I don't expect anyone to remember, um, I bought this beautiful, these leggings, which were already printed, um, in my size. And, um, this one's pretty much done. I just have to shorten the legs. Um, super comfortable, lovely, lovely to make. Um, and so this one's pretty much done. Just have to shorten it. And then the other one here is close to being done. And it's like the spacey print, which is kind of cool. So I want to get both of those done, which will actually be pretty quick. And now I have white overlocker. Well, I guess I could use white overlocker threads. So I want to get those two done. Yeah, this I just, I already have the waistband cut out. So that's the first thing. Um, the second thing is I cut out this pretty um, fabric here, which is basically a, t a turquoise with gold strawberries and I cut that out to enter the So Fruity Challenge, which I failed to do. Um, and it's going to be a, let me get that pattern for you. Um, it's gonna be a shirt I've made before, which is the Palermo, okay? And that's in the So Beautiful book, which is a really nice book. And I've cut out the top. So I've made that before, I really like it. It's a lovely top. And so that's already cut out, ready to go. And it's a quick sew. So I'd like to get that done as well. Um, and then I would like to make this um, wristlet, which is called the Yarrow. It's a pattern by Noodlehead. They have a really good like bag and purse patterns. I've made one of their like wallet purses before, which I use, which I love. And I'm gonna show you some other pictures of this. But it's a lovely pattern, it's a little wristlet. It's big enough to totally fit a phone and a few things and you have cards there and that. So I thought that would be a lovely item. I was waiting on the zippers because again, I can't, I don't know, if Amazon Italy is rubbish, but I can't really get things like that. So I've ordered it from a, a company in Bulgaria and they've just arrived. I'm gonna do this um, linen on the outside and some scraps from my son's shirt. And then I got the two zippers, one for the inside and the outside. And yeah, so I'm gonna get started with that. That should be fun. Um, and yeah, that's on the list. Um, so yeah, that's sort of the pla pa plan. I've got a few other items in my um, cutout. I've got the Jessa trousers by Tilling the Buttons, which I cut out for um, the month that I called Pantuary, I think, when I just basically made pants. But they scared me, so I didn't tackle them. But I think I'm ready now. And then I've got um, another item that I purchased from that Polish fabric store, which is a parka. And basically the parka was printed on fabric in my size in a cool soft shell. I'll get it because it's quite cool. And again, it's totally cut out, um, but obviously it wasn't terribly weather appropriate. But it's in this really pretty, um, it's like a flooring, like an Italian flooring. 
which it's like a see like colored pebbles I don't know has a name and um yeah so you can see here you can actually kind of see the yellow and that's like the cut line it's a soft shell so it's furry on the inside but yes I will sort of tackle that when I get back I do not feel inspired to to tackle that right now but I'm looking forward to that and potentially having that to wear and yeah I have loads of other exciting plans um, but I'm not going to get to them in the next week, so I'm not going to bore you. And the last um, thing I want to talk about is some patterns I purchased. I saw that Helen's Closet were having a sale, and I purchased um, two top patterns that I have sort of been eyeing up. And the first is the Gilbert top, which um, just looks lovely. And I really want to make it like in a double gauze. Um, so I purchased that pattern, which I'm really excited about. And then the other one is the Cameron button up, which is basically like a collared shirt. And um, I just thought that looked really cool to make like in a plaid um, or something, you know, like a lumberjacky fabric to wear. Um, not necessarily buttoned, but kind of like as a over shirt type of thing in the winter. Uh, I thought that would be quite cool. So I purchased that pattern because they're having, I think, 25% off right now. So it seemed like a good deal. Um, but yes, that is pretty much all I've been up to. I do have plans right when I get back to make a pencil case for my son. I'll put a picture up right here. Um, and I'll put a picture up, hopefully, I have put pictures up of the two patterns I got from Helen's Closet. But yeah, I'm making a pencil case for my son. Um, they have, they're very specific on school supplies here. And um, so I thought this one looked nice because as you can see in the picture, it opens out flat or like fully. So you can see all the items inside. Um, but yeah, that's about it. I'm looking forward to school starting again. A little bit of routine. Back to reality, as they say, um, you know, earlier nights. Yeah, more sewing. Anyway, I hope you're all well. Thank you for listening to me carry on and ramble. Um, and uh, thank you. Yeah, thanks for joining. Hope you're all good. Hope, I know some, some schools have started already, um, but wherever you are, I hope you are having a great day and have a wonderful weekend. Bye.